What's good, crypto? I'm your host, Man Milker Marvin, here to bring the daily scoop on what's going on in crypto. After a few days of absolute dippage, the bears were unable to push the bulls down to the 43k mark, leaving a stain on the trousers of the bears that only a mother could love. With the bullishness of the market, with Cardano setting new all-time highs, are we on the precipice of a brand new bull run? We shall see. Monday through Friday, we come here to educate ourselves when it comes to investing in crypto to make life-changing wealth. None of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, so make sure to do your own due diligence and to do your research. I drank um, some dish soap this morning, so apologize if I sound weird or if I need to pause just because my body is not feeling that great. It was an accident. Story for another time. But let's take a look at, at the market today looking fantastic uh bitcoin at forty seven thousand one hundred sixty dollars up five percent five and a half percent on the day um really good to see this yesterday we were actually down in the 44s um for the majority of the day we actually dipped down in the middle of the night i want to say not last night but the night before so two nights ago whatever uh down to like forty three thousand eight hundred forty three thousand nine hundred i remember because i was up and I was like, ah, oh, I think I might dip down a little bit. And it didn't. And it didn't. And that's what you get when you try to be greedy. And I mentioned this on yesterday's episode. Most of the time, anybody that does TA or follows TA or kind of has an idea of what's going on in the market are usually off. And it's funny because it's usually like $500 to $1,000 off. Like everybody has exact prices. Like I thought it was going to dip down to the $42,700 or $43,000 mark and then bounce back up. But instead, it did that like $1,000 more. And Bitcoin does that. Bitcoin does what Bitcoin wants at the end of the day. If Bitcoin doesn't want to go down that much, um, it won't. And we'll actually take a look at, you know, some of the numbers and see what's going on there and why I think like it makes sense that, you know, 44,000 or the high 43,000s um, was actually a good point for it to bounce back. So we'll take a look at that. Ethereum doing well, 7.5% on Day Cardano, smashing all time highs at $2.52. I think it actually went up to $2.55. And I'll give you guys my price prediction for the short term all time high. I think Cardano has a lot of room to grow. Um, just taking a look at the market cap, I think this, this is going to be huge. I think Cardano is going to explode. I'm really, really excited to see where Cardano will go. Now at number three, flipping Binance coin. Crazy to see that we're up $8 billion from Binance coin. Um, but I do think Cardano has a short term new all time high and it's gonna rally even more in my opinion. Um, but I feel that we're gonna see some some crazy gains if this is just like, the t like I've been saying this like in the previous episode, this is just a taste of what's to come which I'm super excited for. Uh, XRP up 11%, Dogecoin up 6.8%, uh, Polkadot doing some really good things at almost $28. Solana had a little bit of a pullback, we hit $80. Uh, Solana now at about $72, that's about 10% off from its all time high. So if you're considering buying Solana, um, you can wait to see if it dips a little bit. Um, if not, maybe take a stab at it and be okay if, you know, we're at $72 right now. And if it goes down a little bit, maybe spread out your buys. Dollar cost average, not financial advice. But if you're going to develop a position, that is kind of like what I would look forward to doing. But I'm not adding to any more of my Solana. I'm holding my Solana for a while. I think Solana could easily triple or quadruple if it got to be at Cardano's level. We're looking at a 283 $300 Solana. I said earlier that 120 and 150 uh, could be it, and I think that's a very conservative estimate. But we'll see how the rest of the bull market plays out. But overall, everything in the green for the most part, as we continue to scroll down, most projects are looking delicious. V chain up 13.85% really good to see that i want to see v chain back 14 15 cents i love v chain v chain is one of my larger alt coin uh holds i think v chain has a lot of room to grow um so i'd love to see v chain like blast off into the stratosphere but overall everything is looking fantastic really excited i think cardano is really leading the charge 
uh, and bring a lot of excitement into the crypto space. I think when everyone sees like Bitcoin at this price, Ethereum at 32,200, you know, and then you see Cardano like at $2.50, you know, for a newbie, they think that, you know, that's a good price compared to everything else, not understanding like market caps and all. But I do think Cardano is going to be a very heavy hitter, especially with smart contracts rolling out um, next month, I think. We can see some crazy things going on with Cardano. But everything looking positive. Everything looking positive. Really, really excited to see this. You know, I was wrong. Like, if Bitcoin doesn't go down 43,000, I'm not upset. Again, I'd rather be wrong and rich than the latter, to be honest. But let's dump into the charts. Again, I'm not a TA person. I'm not a chartist. I'm just telling you what I've been hearing and what I see and what makes sense. So we're going to jump into the trading view. Uh, taking a look at the daily. So two days ago on August 18th, we can see that we have a beautiful, I think this is called a morning star or a doji candle. Uh, the importance of that is that you can see that it wicked down and closed just above very, very small over um, August 17th. So August 18th, we had a morning star candle. So just enough saying that, you know what, uh, this is the line in the sand. Uh, so we have that wick down and we can see that, you know, we tested this low yet. Yeah, and the day before that, we tested the low at 44,000. So on the 17th, we tested a low of 44,000. Um, and then again, the following day on August 18th. And then on the 19th, we see that we dipped down just a little bit below, just a little bit below 44,000, tapping into some liquidity. I think. You know, we really want to see, you know, who's going to be buying. And we saw, we see this large engulfing candle right here, crushing it, closing at, let's see, we closed at $46,760. That's huge. That's really, really good to see. And this morning star, typically after we see a morning star, we see a couple of consecutive green days. Those are, I believe are called three marching men or three white uh, marching, whatever candles. So if we see that this is a morning star, in fact, then we can see this as a reversal in terms of pattern. So we can actually expect to see today being another green day and maybe tomorrow. And then that actually leads up into Sunday and Sunday could be the day that really takes off. We could see a lot of volatility this weekend and possibly pushing through the $48,000 mark, which has been a resistance. Um, and some things to keep in mind and things that we want to avoid, we want to avoid a head and shoulders pattern. We can see that, you know, the left shoulder is being developed on August 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, developing the left shoulder and then 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 develop in the head. So what we really want to do is continue to go up. And if we can break the trend line and break previous res resistances at 48,000, I think that's going to get a lot of people excited and going. I think what we need to do is develop a new local high. I think that'll be really, really good for the market, just the overall sentiment. And we're not that far off. We are about a thousand dollars off, which is about a one to 2% increase. Can the bulls do it? We'll find out. I don't have a crystal ball. Um, I'm leaning bullish. I'm leaning bullish. I'm macro bullish, but you know, with healthy pullbacks are fine. Those are great scooping opportunities to buy some cheap Bitcoin. Um, but I think we're going to see some really good price action. Um, it's just like a gut feeling and like even just taking a look at the charts, like you can see that we're creating lower highs, you know, on July 21st, we created, um, you know, this, the beginning of this run. And then when we got the pullback from 42,000 to 37,500, we confirm a lower low and then we blast it off again. And now we're in the process of testing a, a new higher low, I'm sorry, higher lows. <laughs> um, so if we are in fact developing a new higher low right now and confirm that with this morning star candle reversing the pattern, of uh, bearishness to bullishness, we may be seeing some good stuff going on, but that's to be determined. But I think with the overall sentiment of the market, um, it's, it's looking very good. I mean, if it was a bear market, we wouldn't be seeing all time highs. That's just, it is what it is. Like Solana breaking all time highs, Cardano breaking all time highs. 
I think that's bringing a lot of excitement to crypto and a lot of people are realizing that and there's going to be a lot of FOMO. There's going to be a lot more FOMO coming on. Um, but I think that, you know, these altcoins are really the ones that are kind of driving the force of the, the bullish, uh, the bullish case, honestly. And I think it gets a lot of people more exciting. And I think a lot of people are probably rotating. Like it makes sense. Like I, I, I'm doing it. Like I, I get, I take some profits and I throw it back into Bitcoin because Bitcoin is still off from its all time highs and Bitcoin is Bitcoin. And you want to Bitcoin Bitcoin because Bitcoin is Bitcoin, right? Um, no, but for real, like rotate your profits, put some into projects that um, have a lot more room to grow and that are promising. For example, Bitcoin. So that's what I'm doing. And I wouldn't be surprised if people are just rotating and just putting back into Bitcoin because that has a lot of room to grow. So that's what I think is going on in the market. And if we just, uh, and especially on the daily chart, on the weekly, forget about it. The weekly is looking good too, I believe. Let's take a look. Yep, right here. We're, we're looking very, very good. Um, so can we see us developing this monster of a wick down, testing new higher lows and continuing to go back up? Can we see us going up to 52,000? We'll find out. Um, I would be super happy. My, my portfolio would be very, very happy. And just looking at the hourly chart, I like to take a look at this. Or you know what? Let's pull out the four hour chart. Um, we can see here we have a, a descending channel with higher lows, right? We've got higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. What we need to do is develop a new local high, get to 47, hit 48,000 and break out of that descending channel because the last thing we want to do is do again the head and shoulders and stay in this descending channel which could bring us down to 42,000 uh, which was previous resistance turned to support so we'll find out if Bitcoin can get over 48,000 today which it very could well do um, weekend price action has been actually pretty solid for Bitcoin we've seen some good run-ups on the weekend so are we due for a really good run up this week and after a couple of days of consolidation a lot of people argue that we need a little bit more but you know what when in a bull run don't doubt bitcoin i personally believe um now let's take a look at cardano cardano man i'll, I'll tell you guys a little bit what i think about what cardano is doing um looking at the trading view on the daily man look at this u-shape recovery it's like a mega it's literally a mega cup and handle if we take a look we just go all the way down we develop this little 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 bit of you know of a handle and then boom skyrocket we're in all-time high territories i mean we're we're in the process of price discovery so it's really exciting to see that and if we pull it up on the weekly it's crazy absolutely crazy I think my my price prediction, honestly, short term, I think I think Cardano, excuse me, is gonna hit between three dollars and twenty five cents to three dollars and fifty cents. Personally, I think that leading up to smart contracts, there's gonna be a lot of excitement and a lot of people fomoing in, and I could see that bring Cardano to about. $3.50, give or take, $3.25 to three, $3.50, which from here is almost a, about a 40% increase, which brings its market cap to about $110 billion. That is a lot. That's crazy. $110 billion. That's a lot of money, a lot of money flowing in. But again, don't ever doubt crypto. That is what I think. Let me know in the comments what you think the price prediction for Cardano could be. And we see Bitcoin already making moves at 47,339. Really exciting. Uh, I think we're going to see Cardano go up to 350. And by the end of this bull run, I think a six to eight dollar Cardano is very reasonable. Um, six to eight dollars, just six dollars is triple. Uh, it's actually two, two and a half X. So that would put the market cap of Cardano at $200 billion and Ethereum's at 380. So it's not that far off from Ethereum. 
Um, will Cardano flip Ethereum? I don't think so. I just think with the excitement with all crypto, I think Ethereum is going to continue to go up uh, in price cap. I think if Cardano can two and a half X, I think Ethereum could at least two X personally. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. In other news, let's take a look at some goodness. Uh, so the crypto fear and greed index hasn't changed. We're still at 70 last week, today and yesterday. We're all at 70. So good to see everybody. The overall sentiment is looking very positive and looking very, very good. Um, and lastly, just taking a look at some last minute things. Um, some good news overall. I mean, Coinbase adding $500 million worth of crypto to its balance sheets. You know, I'm surprised that, um, Coinbase doesn't have more, but you know what? Better late than never. I think that um, we're going to see that Coinbase is going to be a, a big stake. So I don't own any Coinbase, but I think this is good. And I think a lot of people are talking about, you know, holding on to, you know, assets like hard assets like crypto, um, just in case of, you know, a stock, stock market crash or anything. Like you want to hold on to hard assets, especially with deflation. And DXY is actually going up right now. Um, I can talk about that another time, but that's going on and some other good news just in general, like, you know, today, 85,000 merchants in Switzerland can now accept Bitcoin, which is pretty rad. Um, and then also NBA number one draft pick Cade Cunningham is to receive his signing bonus directly in Bitcoin. So a lot of really cool things happening in the market, just a lot of really fun, fun and exciting news in terms of adoption. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'll be back on Monday. If anything crazy happens this weekend, if Bitcoin decides to like moon to 50,000 and beyond, then maybe I'll make an emergency episode, maybe a live stream. But um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Stay positive. And we have a lot of excitement in the market. There's a lot of goodness. And I think this is the beginning of the next bull run. Peace out, everyone.